Hello, Leo, and welcome to Blunt Side Tarot. My name is Robin, and Leo, today is December 26th, 2023, and we're going to do your general reading, baby. Let's talk about you. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's going on. Oh, we got a gift. Okie dokie. And we have a change. Well, this gift will change everything for you, Leo. <laughs> let's find out. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what kind of gift the universe is blessing you with today, baby. Let's chat about you. And Leo, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. And just remember, Leo, my readings are $30 Canadian, and I send them in three to four business days. So we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. We have the Two of Pentacles. We got the Magician, baby. We got the Magus in the house. What else we got here for Leo? Could be dealing with the Gemini. Ooh, we got the Three of Swords. There's you, King of Wands. Are you dealing with another uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag? Ooh, we got the King of Swords. We got two masculine energies in the house here. Yeah. King of Swords getting down to business. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Sun, Aries, and Leo energy. And we have the Chair. We have a lot of major arcanas here. Well, not really with three of them, but the cup. Whoa, Ten of Swords. Queen of Cups, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have three people in this reading. Um, let me grab my clarifiers. What are we going to use? Let's get down to business. The Eight of Swords in reverse is being trapped. Um, trapped in the past, though. It's letting the, it's not letting go of something in the past. There's a... What I feel is it was a blessing in disguise, Leo. There's some kind of painful ending transition that you went through here with the Ten of Swords. You're feeling hurt. You're feeling betrayed. Uh, you know, it's, it's a... It's, this is very much a victim energy, the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. I mean, some of them going to jail. Someone's getting out of jail. Um, but there's an awful lot of swords here, and this, this is difficult sword energy. Um, this is having a hard time letting go of this betrayal, this ending, whatever it was that happened. Um, it's been hard getting over that. But like I said, I do feel it was a blessing in disguise. It was a gift to put you in a different direction. The universe didn't want you there anymore, Leo. They wanted you somewhere new. And that's what the Two of Pentacles is. The Two of Pentacles is my Carl Jung card. And the Two of Pentacles represents the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs in life. It represents turning a negative into a positive, an obstacle into a blessing. One of my favorite teachings from Carl Jung is when we go through these transitions, we go through these changes, we go through these betrayals. When we're at the down point, that's when we grow, that's when we evolve, that's when we learn, that's when we really become the best version of ourselves. That's when we figure out who we are, what we want, and who other people are. And what we do not want. So there's an energy of turning a negative into a positive. There's an energy of this is a blessing in disguise. You know, the magician is resourceful. He's a He has strong, strong communication skills. It's a card of Hermes. It's a card of Mercury. It's a card of messages. It's the card of communication. But really, it's the card of resources because they have all the resources on the table. So it's using your resources, using your intelligence, using your inner wisdom and your, and your inner, inner gnosis to overcome this very difficult uh, ending. Someone really did you wrong here, Leo. Um, but the King of Wands, and, you know, I honestly feel like the King of Wands and the King of Swords is you. I feel like this is the King of Wands looking over at this change, looking over at this transition saying, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to create a plan. I'm just going to tackle this head on. I'm just going to be honest. I can't change what they did and I can't change what happened. The only thing that I can do is change myself and change my choices going forward. It's like a very much, I just got like a fuck it kind of energy here, right? Like, fuck it, can't do anything about it. Let's just focus on what I can change, which is me. And that creates this element of forward movement. The sun, first of all, represents happiness, contentment, inspiration, joy, creativity, a lot of new beginnings, blessing and blossoming in your energy. And there's the chariot overcoming these obstacles and these challenges to get what he wants. This guy's already a successor. He's the victor, right? We're in the Hunger Games and he's like Katniss on the little chariot, right? <laughs> Which is going for the second one or whatever that scene was. That's what I'm seeing in my head because she's the victor. She has all the tools and the resources to overcome these obstacles, to overcome these barriers. And that's the energy that you're in is the Katniss energy. <laughs> um, so it's just an energy of releasing and letting go of the things that do not serve you. It was a blessing in disguise, Leo. The universe has something way better in store for you. And I feel like instead of looking back, you're looking at this with a different perspective and allowing yourself to progress forward as you go forward. Current energy is really having a difficult time letting it go. But look at your future energy here. When I do my general readings, this is past, this is present, and this is my future. So things are looking really bright. Things are, you know, there's the sun. There's the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, there's a lot of forward movement. A lot of successes could be moving with the chariot there. Um, could be traveling. Uh, maybe taking a little vacation, get your mind off things. But whatever it is, the whole point of the reading is this is a blessing in disguise. I know it's painful and I, I know it was difficult. I'm sorry that whoever it was did this or whatever it was happened. But I do believe the universe wants you somewhere different. And they put you outside your comfort zone 
in order to, to head in that direction here, Leo. So, huh, that's what we got there. I just grunted. What the fuck? So, let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And we'll get back to the tarot. We'll see how you're doing in a month here, Leo. Spirit guides. What does Leo need to surrender to when it comes to this change, this transition here? Success. That's what I'm saying, baby. You are ready to experience abundance. Do not look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Ex leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Yes, yes, yes. What is the lesson that Leo is learning here? Spirit guys, what's the lesson here for Leo? What's the lesson, baby? What's the lesson? Grief. Yep. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. It lets you know what you do and do not want. Okay. Let's grab your energy oracle message. What's the energy oracle message to help Leo transition out of this energy? What we got here? Ah, what the fuck happened? Leo, damn. Okay. When one comes out of the deck, uh, the message is in the book. So hold on a second here. Okay. This card indicates difficulty, either in the external world or within yourself in your emotional life. The difficulty is here, and you may have heard rumblings of potential problems. The caution is to be conscious, but not fearful. Consider what is going on around you and look at the situation with calm clarity. Investigate your options and honor yourself and your intentions. Stand up for yourself and take action on your own behalf. As with all difficulties, even the worst storm passes, right? Remember, everything is temporary. So always remember you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever is coming your way. And Leo, the affirmation to repeat is, I have the power, I have the power, you're He-Man, to overcome any obstacle. No matter what is going on, I am strong, confident, and self-directed. Very much the lion energy, the lion. Lion? <laughs> I was going to say lioness, then I was going to say lion, then I was going to say Leo, and I said everything at once, but very much the Leo energy. All right, you know what? No, they're telling me to grab the Christ consciousness. So hold on. Let's see what Yeshua wants to say and we'll get your potential outcome. What's the Christ consciousness message here for Leo? The open door. Christ is within you. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. It's a powerful card. So first of all, you could be going through a dark night of the soul. This might have been a very difficult transition where your whole perspective, where everything changed. But this is also the activation of Christ consciousness, Leo. And Christ consciousness gets activated when you're selfless. Um, when you're in that forgiving energy, really, in my opinion, it's selflessness. That's what creates and activates the Christ consciousness within yourself. Um, so you're going through major growth, major development. This is a big change and it is a gift and you will see that in due time. It is teaching you how to activate the Christ consciousness within yourself. You could be going through a Kundalini awakening, um, you know, crystallizing that pineal gland or uncrystallizing it. So this is a really strong energy of, of activating Christ consciousness, activating that selfness nib. And, you know, part of that is love, but forgiveness, right? We got to forgive other people for their shortcomings, not for their sake, but for our sake. Like Jesus said, you know, forgive them, Lord, for they do not know what they do. A lot of people don't understand metaphysics. They don't understand how doing this to someone else is going to end up boomeranging and coming back on them. And it's just an understanding of sending nothing but love and compassion to the people that have done you wrong and moving forward with that Christ consciousness and that love um, and selflessness energy within yourself here. This is just temporary and it's activating something very special inside of you, Leo. So now let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will down. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. When I say outcome, let's see how you're doing in a month. Let's talk about you. Let's see how things are going. Let's see what progress you're making. Spirit guys, how's Leo doing? What do we need to know? What we got here? The hangman. Talk about, what are you, were you accused of doing something here? It's like you got crucified. You were attacked here. What the hell happened, Leo? I do not know what happened. Okay. I'm sorry that you had to go through that, but it's bringing you to a beautiful place. It's just all about perspective. There's self-love. There's the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so we have the Hanged Man, the Knight of Swords in reverse. We have the Four Swords in reverse. What else we got here for Leo? Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, the cards are upright. <laughs> they upright, baby. There's a lot of reversals here. All right, one more. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful ending. A Leo. All right, let's just start. Let's just do linear. The hanged man. This is Jesus being crucified on the cross. He was accused of doing things they did not do and they crucified him. You might have been attacked. You might have felt attacked. You might have 
had people against you, felt like people are against you, felt like no one was in your corner. Um, but this is just an energy of accepting what is because you cannot change their opinions. You cannot change what they did. You cannot change what happened. The only thing you can do is change your choices going forward and just realizing and, and appreciating the growth that you've had within yourself. Um, I feel like there's the Knight of Swords in reverse with the Four of Swords in reverse. You're not rushing into anything. You're not jumping to conclusions. You're not rushing into anything. I feel like you're really trying to heal. Um, I do feel it's taken some time. I do feel you're kind of blocking this energy. Um, but I also feel like it's going to take a concerted effort, consistent effort and determination to really focus on you and not what it is that happened. Um, and that's, and you know, the four of swords in reverse is a reminder of self-love, prioritizing yourself, loving yourself. You should be your biggest fan. It doesn't matter what people outside of you say or do, who gives a shit. Um, it only affects us if we let it affect us. And this is an energy of letting it go, blocking that energy and really prioritizing yourself and being thankful because the fact is, the fact is, let me repeat it one more time, Leo. The fact is, um, if I was an editor, I would put the fact is, but I'm like editing my videos because I feel like it takes away the authenticity of the reading, but I would if I did. <laughs> and the Empress, this moved you into Empress or Emperor energy. You know, let's be reminded the Emperor and the Empress, they are not born Leo. They are created through life's tribulations, through life's difficult times, through obstacles. She overcomes those obstacles to create abundance, to create wealth, to create comfortability in her life. She's flowing with love, flowing with self-acceptance, but flowing with the ability to manifest and create. You're a creator, you're a master builder, a master manifester. These people are not going to stop you. It was a God-given gift that this happened. It was a blessing in disguise. And the Page of Swords is really an energy of looking back and learning. This Page of Swords is a studious energy. He's learning his lessons. He's understanding why this happened. He's seeing the benefit of it for him. And he's seeing the power that he has within. The Christ consciousness, the Empress energy within yourself, Leo. There's a lot of growth, a lot of development here, some betrayal, but you're overcoming that and you will accomplish exactly what you want. These people will not stop you. And the universe wanted you somewhere different. And just remember, these feelings and emotions are just temporary. Um, you will process them, you will work through them, and you will end up in the Empress energy from this experience. You'll be a lot better off than you were. So Leo, that's what I got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Leo. I always appreciate your support. I truly do. Let's get your final message to close off your reading today. Spirit guides. How you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. Picture what it would look like to be loved and appreciated by the world in the manner that you most desire. Channel this image as you move throughout your day. I can't help but notice we have 30, 63, which also is 9, 369. A very powerful time, a strong time of manifestations. Your dreams are coming true. There's just a little bump that you have to get through to get there. That's what I got, Leo. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.